Hello and welcome to Gotham Sound's coverage of NAB AES NYC 2024 here with Scott Boland from again. Sheps and Redding. Again. Back at tag team, back again. It's, it's a trade show. We're talking to Nick. I know. Peter behind the behind the camera. 20 and years uh, later. It wouldn't seem right if we didn't do this. It's true. So. But you have something uh, truly exciting and magical um, yes. to talk about. So, uh, this so is talk the about it. Sheps KMIT. Which uh, K mit if you want to say C mit for? in the K for capsule. So oh right, German, in German capsules, capsules with a K. Yep. Uh huh. It's here. Once the digital amplifier came out, it really was a good push to get this thing out because it offers some uh, things that nobody could do um, with just the analog stuff. the The great thing about it is number one, it, it has the same immunity to um, moisture now like the C regular CMITs have the CMIT series, so no problems with moisture, which is a great uh, feature there. The um, sound of this, identical. Mm. So a lot of questions we got right away was, does it sound different? Is there anything different like that? It's been tailored to be interchangeable with CMIT and mini CMIT, so no differences there. So you're gonna get that same, you know, nice, no color, low color, lateral side pickup, um, the frequency, response on the polar pattern just gets smoothly, is that a word, smoothly? Smoothly, Smoothly sure. more Smoothlier. directional uh -huh. as you go up in the frequency range. Uh -huh. So if you look at the graph, same as the, the CMIT stuff. So completely interchangeable, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, this actually has a low cut built into it. So it is an active low cut, which some, if you ever notice a Shep's capsule usually just has one ring in the, in the pin. Uh -huh. This guy has all the rings like an active accessory would. I see, okay. So there's a 70 Hertz, right around, I think it's 21 dB per octave. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect because whatever amplifier you're using will determine the exact cut, but in all intents and purposes, it's like having a cut. 60 or you know built into the into the capsule and the mini cement has that built into the Correct. preamp or i mean in, in yeah. it somewhere. yeah it's it's, yeah. it's not switchable mm -hmm. the 60 uh, hertz but this is at 70 I don't, I don't i'm not the engineer i'm not exactly sure why that frequency but it all works out to give you the same curves as working with the cmit with mm -hmm. the with the low cut. And just speaking of curves, this one thing I want to highlight, and I like this, I know it's a bit of a, but I really like the gradient. This is the first time I'm seeing it in person. Yeah, I, I mean, when, really when you see it in practice, it's like, uh -huh. so Sheps is known for their shotgun microphones, interference tube sure. to be blue, mm -hmm. you know? So it just made sense to sort of like take in two generations of microphones and putting them together, it just kind of makes sense to do a gradient into each other. It's bold, but and I, I, I hate to make it about the aesthetic, but I know that you can you can custom order you know the other mics in yeah it, anything Sheps like the CMC mm -hmm. bodies and MK capsules including mm -hmm. and CMITs you can order any RAL color mm -hmm. um, as a custom it just costs a lot right so you could do the same thing with the Cayman you can do the same thing with this okay so but you're just going to pay surcharges you know for it and if they don't have the paint if it's a color that they didn't use already. Then they ha you charge more because they got to buy the paint and work through the setup and everything like that. Yeah. But, but if you want a custom color, you want yellow, Ferrari red, whatever you want. Great. We're getting no a lot problem. of purple these days. But what we have in stock in the uh -huh. first run is the gradient gray to blue. Great. So um, let's back to the technical stuff. So any preamps. So these are the, yes. these are the Sheps preamps. So if you still have a CMC5, the KMIT works with that if you're still using. Mm -hmm. Production people are probably not using the five anymore because of RF. Uh, CMC6, CMC1U, which I think, if analog-wise, this is a great combination because it's nearly identical to the weight and size of a mini CMIT. Maybe five millimeters longer, same balance as the mini CMIT. But if you want to do these specialty amplifiers with the, you know, the CMC1L or the K, absolutely will work. Gives you some unique perspective. <laughs> you know, with the KV, this on there with the with the magnet. So for some special purpose plant miking, you can do that. What you can't do is put it on tubes or active other active accessories mm -hmm. like KC5 or you know things like that. You can't do that with this. Mm. So you wouldn't probably want to do that anyways. So, so that's the amplifiers for that this will work with. And again, the, you know, the low cut of the, like the CMC5, if you used it, will, you know, it rolls off at 30, so you're gonna get a different response. So really the one and the six are probably what 
you're best going to use it for. Or the 42, and which you said there's some special things. We move with. over to the CMD42, which you guys, I'm sure, know from NAB. It's an active shipping product, digital shotgun mm -hmm. with the remote control with the CMD42 app, and you can go directly into a lovely sound devices or a Zaxcom that will have, I'm not sure what models have the AS42 off the mm -hmm. top of my head. Yep. Um, this guy right here is a cable for the digital mic to go into a sound devices. Oh, the A20, yeah. So you have an A20 or the Zax with the AS42. Mm -hmm. It's a different wiring. Yep. So you got to get a, a different cable mm -hmm. for that. So that'll allow you to go digital wireless boom mm -hmm. shotgun. Right. Crazy. It's pretty cool. Yep. So, so the A to D happens right here, and then it's just digital all the way down the line. Digital. And the great thing about this is so for workflow, if you have the CMD and you're mm -hmm. using it for your for booming with the 41, say, now you can have a shotgun. Yep. And not you can stay digital. So before, if you want to use a Chef shotgun, you had to go analog with it. So that really keeps your workflow all, you can just do all digital. Well, and it's the, the price difference, because there has been a digital shotgun for a long time. Yeah, right? the, this the, uh, the Super, super CMT. CMT. Yeah. Yes. But now but this, this is, is superior in the performance and noise spec and everything like that. So Interesting. And, yeah. and a much better price. Yeah. Yeah. Price cool. is good. I mean, that's specialty with the, um, with the special, uh, you know, filter for the extreme super directivity, which this doesn't do, because mm -hmm. there's an extra capsule on there. Right. So. But there are, so there are some ways that you can alter the sound with sure. the app. Yeah, so in the CMD42 app, there's filters, not just for the shotgun, but for other uh, capsules. Like if you're using the Chefs with a parabolic mic, it has the parabolic filters that you need built mm. into, the, into the digital rather than doing it external, like plug-in. So the KMIT, they added these filters in the app for, it's great to have a on-hand manual, right, on here. So there's a proximity filter, so attenuates frequencies between zero and 20 hertz for short distances. There's the uh, shelving, so if you are in a big windscreen, tons of fur on it, high winds, you can shelve the high frequencies to make up for that loss. And what's great is that the, the digital filters are just better, less noise than the uh, analog filters. And then there's the flat one, which compensates for you know handling, which again, you'll have the identity, the people who use the CMIT with the, the first low cut filter, you can match that with this. Got it. So yeah. a couple of uh, just comments in the chat. Uh, yes. So Michael Urban uh, said uh, he picked up his, his K-MIT yesterday. He's very excited. He says, thanks to Kaylee. So thanks, Kaylee, assistant sales manager Beautiful. at Gotham. Mike, you're going to have to let us know how you, uh, how you like it. I'm excited about this. And then you had one other thing you wanted to show. For years and years, uh, especially for studio use, not booming. Mm -hmm. They had the uh, A20 and A20S mm -hmm. elastic suspensions, um, which don't do a lot of suspending, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, or isolation. So they just uh, built this little, uh, I can take it off, how about that? So it's just a real simple shock mount, not for booming, by the way. It's, it's not recommended for that. But you just squeeze the sides and you pull the mic out. So there's little rubber padding inside so real quick and easy to use. Oh, that's neat. So it's the a AC20. Um, it, the isolators, it, so like the A20 and A20S, you had to buy one or the other with the stiff or regular elastics. This has both sets of isolators um, that come with it. Mm. They just pop right off, and then you can swap them out. And that's a collaboration with Sonella? Correct. Great, great, great. And uh, real easy. And they have this new, um, new cable clip clamp so this actually goes on like an sg20 mm -hmm. or even so you just pop it in here and somebody broke it but and then just a little cable clamp to harness your cabling mm. but generally this is going to be like for studio or if you're miking up stuff live um in a concert or something like that nice little guy and same price as the a20 it's it's, it's actually pretty inexpensive for what it is yeah since the A20 doesn't have gain, right? So if you go digital into that and then go, you know, so you've got CMD42, digital into the A20, digital transmission, back to, you know, your sound device is wireless, yeah. digital into the A30, Yeah, you have digital gain control on the sound device. Right. 
But it's not control of the transmitter is my understanding. Or am I wrong? I can't answer that question. Okay. Yeah, we'd have to, we'll have to authority. We'll have to truck yeah, over there. Yeah, Brad's over there. Go, yeah, go see. We'll uh, talk to Brad. Go talk to Brad because I, yeah, I haven't been asked that question, so. Okay. The first. See, I don't know everything. But I believe that because everything's digital, there's not going to be any additional noise added in. No, I mean, th the beauty of, of the CMD is there's a configuration that you can do with the app where you can do dual mode. Mm. So there's two channels of AES. Right. So you can have the one channel mm -hmm. in your mixer and you can use the digital gain in the mixer to monitor. Got it. Simultaneously, the pure, mm -hmm. untouched, full dynamic range um, signal of that will go on that second channel. So that's what you'll end up using most likely in, in post. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. But Scott, I got to say, I'm, I'm very... I'm very excited about the K-MIT. I, I can't wait to about take it out. About the K-MIT? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's useful. It's not a, uh, a novelty thing just to do because it's, it's really a useful, versatile product. Yeah. And, um, and it is brass, by the way. It's not aluminum. It's made of brass. Because CMIT is aluminum. K-MIT is brass. And funny enough, it weighs identical, won't you? Really, with yeah. the with the preamp. Well, it's a smaller diameter stuff. too. I see. And it's not as thick. Oh wait, these so is mini CMIT. Uh huh. CMIT are 21 millimeter overall diameter. Uh huh. Colette systems 20, so this capsule actually is one millimeter smaller. Got it. So got it. Got it. So if you're using your W40 windscreen foam uh -huh. on your mi mini or your regular CMIT, you probably want to get another one for this because it'll fall off. Because it stretches. I see. I get. Oh, so uh, I grade clarified the CMT CMD forty two has humidity resistance, so that's the nature nature. I mean RF and humidity mm -hmm. is a non issue with with digital, and mm -hmm. the RF especially is a problem. The capsule, like the modern, recent of a couple of years CMIT, all the interference tube capsules have a special process now that makes them moisture resistant in the capsule. Mm. Got it. Okay. So, Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, um, thank you for your questions. Scotty, thanks for kicking us off right here with your, your right. K-MIT. Um, it's, all, it's all downhill from here, right? It's all downhill from here. Exactly. And we might want to know this if you point the camera up oh, there. Yeah. That's a, a little boom that we got so I can plug our good friends at Radius. So the k mits with CMC1U or CMC6 or CMD is perfectly compatible with the rad mounts by Radius, and it's on... A beautiful ambient QP5 pole. Oh, yeah. So. I like the QP5 and the slim. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, Scotty. We'll see you soon. No problem.